We are in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to change the DNS IP address in case you want to use a new DNS IP. If your current DNS is not working properly to resolve names to IP addresses. So go ahead and open up Control Panel. And we're going to change over to all Control Panel items. And then we're going to click on Network and Sharing Center. From here, we'll click on the Change Adapter Settings. And you should see a network adapter setting. Sometimes it'll be wired, like where it says Ethernet. Other times it'll say wireless. So I'll go ahead and right click on that and choose properties. And now we'll scroll down to where it says Internet Protocol version 4. Double click on that. And now we're presented with a list of static IP information. Now it doesn't matter if yours is static or dynamic, you can still set the IP address of the DNS server. So just make sure you check the box that says use the following DNS server addresses. So we want to make sure we use a DNS server that is in use. So we don't want to just pick anyone. So uh, we type in command. And a real popular DNS server uh, that Google uses is all eights. So it's 8.8.8.8. Uh, .8 and we can see that it does get us there. Uh, another one is Comcast, which is 75.75.75.75. .75 .75 .75. And we can see that one does not ping. So our concern is, is this DNS server not available? Should we not use it if we're on Comcast? Well, one way you can find out besides pinging is by using the Telnet command. Now you can install Telnet by going to Control Panel, Programs, and Turn Windows Features On or Off. Once Telnet is installed, you can then go to type the word Telnet, and then the IP address you want and DNS operates on port 53 so we just hit space 53 and hit enter now if we get a black screen it means it connects and we do we get a black screen so we can go ahead and use that 75 address if we want and we can also use the secondary one of the Google one assuming we can also connect to that on port 53 uh, then you can check the validate settings upon exit just to make sure everything looks good and there's no errors. It's going to do a quick detecting problems here. Make sure that nothing comes up. And that it can connect to those DNS servers okay. And it says it couldn't identify, so we have no problems. So we are good to go. Let's see if we can get out to the Internet. Open up Internet Explorer. And we should get a web page that pops up here in just one second. And there it is. There's Google. So we are in good shape. So that's how you add, statically add DNS servers in Windows 10.